Callum, probably the worst thing for you. We talked about this earlier on, a draw. Yeah. You, you, it keeps your situation, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, I don't know, I think Jack's saying he's going to move up anyway, so I don't know whether I'll now fight for making WBC. I'm not too sure on the situation, but regards to tonight, it was a good fight, to be honest with you. I enjoyed watching it, a very good fight, and better than what I expected. How did you have it? How did you score it? It finished up, I scored at level. Yeah. I thought Jack probably deserved to win it, but on my scorecard, I scored at level, so I thought it was a good, a fair result. So that uh, was good. But Tegale started off well again and he didn't sort of switch off in the middle part but it was, it was a lot more competitive early on than I expected. I thought that Gale would get a bigger lead than he did but Tegale won more of the later rounds than I expected him to so it didn't go as a plan but it was a good fight to watch. It seemed like Tegale needed a big last round and he would have obviously taken it. The worst thing possibly happened, he got dropped in the round and it was a big round for Jack. Yeah, the, the, no, Tegale finished strong. I thought he won I think 9-10. And was having a good 12th and then got caught with a good shot and done well to survive to be honest with you. He, you know, he held on quite well in the last minute and I thought Jack just looked a bit too tired and to land the, the net the perfect shot to get him out of there. But as I said before, it was a, you know, a great fight and only I'm in the position I'm in, you know, I'd like to see it again, but hopefully they'll have to wait. What happens? Nothing. He fights with the WBC title next, simple as that. And interestingly, he might have two options now. Just said to Joe, Joe Gallagher, I think Badu Jack will vacate. In that case, it will be Callum Smith against Anthony Durrell for the WBC. Or, I'll just fight them. <laughs> so, WBC, listen, we've worked very hard with the WBC and they've been fantastic to us. So, they'll send the letter out on Monday. We'll put the pressure on. You've got to fight, you've got to fight Badu Jack. If you want to relinquish, you better hurry up and do it. Yeah, Floyd said it was, a, it was a very close fight, very close fight, great fight. I'm still on point. But James DeGale wanted to fight Callum Smith. That's what he wanted, and vice versa. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is he's fighting for the world title next. How did you score that? I thought I probably had his about. It's like I thought James was up going into the last round, but very close. And then the last round just turned the fight on its head. So I thought a draw. I wouldn't say it was fortunate, but when I got in the ring, I thought. Uh, I think we might have just lost this, but you know, very strange interviews from Badu Jack. Like, right? you, know, you have a fight like that, Showing and you don't say, oh, "Yeah, I'll do it again." He went, "No, no, I'm moving up to like." Every. Floyd went, "Absolutely not. That's his last ever fight." So, if that's the case, he fights Anthony Durrell. But he's got an option there with the IBF as well. What's that? He's got an option there with the IBF as well. Possibly. Anything's possible, my friend. All right. Well, encouraging words anyway. Yeah, it's interesting, but like I said, early in the week, I'm in a good position regardless. The next fight is for the world title. Now it could be for either one, but no, I'm in a good position. It's not going to be a unification fight, a fight for all of the belts, but no, I get to fight for one of them anyway. All right, Callum, thanks for talking to uh, Eiffel TV, and uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah. See Cheers, mate.